mad. Don't get mad at me, but the windshield wipers. Can you slow them down? Slow them down? The tempo. It's messing me up. What I saw in the episode uh, was the connection between the musical notes that Ben was writing um, and uh, the scientists believing that there was some connection between that and a mathematical equation that some physicists were, were writing. Music is all mathematics, and uh, this was established um, in, by, in the 6th century BC by Pythagoras, the famous acoustician and mathematician. I come from that from that world. I was an orchestrally and am an orchestrally trained composer for many years, but have been working with the computer and digital technology since the early 80s before the internet. Music is a mathematical language. Chords have numerical values, and the notes, quarters, eight, sixteenths, they're all just fractions, variables. OK, I took the oboe for six months and then quit. Almost there, Peter. <laughs> just nine bars. Hmm? OK, listen to this. We do have the book Go to Leschel Block that talks about the connections between math and music. Most of the music that Bach wrote, the, the fugues and the counterpoints, are all mathematical principles based on intervallic relationships between the different musical lines. When you see a keyboard um, on a piano and the uh, scale is divided into 12 equal parts, well, that's linear algebra. The connections are right on in the fact that uh, mathematics has um, always been expressed through music. He's very talented. Before this, he had never taken a single lesson. His doctors told me there have been other cases, people with severe brain traumas, waking up with the ability to do things they'd never done before. Two weeks later, he was composing his own music. I'm working on right now a quantum dot symphony. And so I'm applying a very complex mathematical pr principle called the time-dependent Schrodinger equation in 3D. And we're sonifying this equation and we're visualizing this equation. It's making some of the most incredible uh, music and some of the most wonderful visual art that you could ever see. A lot of people say, well, why would a composer want to do that? Well, what do we do as artists? We unfold complex mathematical algorithms in time and space, visually and sonically, just for the aesthetic purposes of it. We're looking for structure. We're looking for function. If I have an equation that actually not only unfolds frequency and time, but also space, then you can imagine what I can do with my musical constructs.